Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's Daily Tarot Love Reading. So here we are. We're back in the clubhouse again today. I came down here early this morning, and it was available, so I thought, let's take advantage of it. So I thought, let's do a Tarot Love Reading today. Today is Wednesday, November the 25th. If you live here in the States, it's a day before Thanksgiving, right? Wishing you all a very happy Thanksgiving for those of you that are participating in the Thanksgiving festivities here in the States. Um, time is uh, about 9.40 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. So I didn't have a chance to bring the crystal ball with me down here in the clubhouse, though. So we're going we're gonna to have to move forward without the crystal ball today. But I thought let's have some fun today and let's do a pick a card tarot reading. So we're going to choose A, B, and C, right? So be thinking about A, B, and C, and just see which letter A, B, or C resonates strongest with you, right? So be thinking about that. Uh, let's pull an affirmation card to take us into today's tarot reading. This will be an affirmation card for all the signs. So I'm, I'm. I'm planning on uh, doing some zodiac readings today as well. This will be these will be for December, and if all goes well and I have my way, I'm going to try to do the zodiac readings down here in this room just to change the background and the setting. So, uh, for those of you that are waiting for December readings, they're going to be coming. Okay. Well, as this pick a card reading gets ready to start, we come up with the best possible decision. The number 18, which reduces to a nine. Nine's a powerful number. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Godimus, or Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Artemis, goddess of the bow, help me see what must be known. Okay, so here we have decisions. Uh, and we have the energy of, you know, being able to choose, right, and to choose wisely. Uh, the affirmation taking us into, it's the affirmation for all of us, for each of, of A, B, and C. So let's, uh, let's pull some energies and see what comes out. So again, be thinking about A, B, and C. And just uh, figure out which one is resonating strongest with you. I'm going to pull A right now. And for all of you to know, I'm choosing A as well. Okay, so here we have our A energy right here. Now let's choose B. Then I'm going to use my crystal vision to pull his clarification on these energies. Okay, for those of you that chose B, here's your energy. Now let's choose C. Looking forward to pulling some clarifying energies to see exactly what's going on here. Okay, for those of you that chose B, or C, here's your C energy. Okay, all right, let's pull some clarification now. First energy we're gonna go ahead and take a look at is A. A is coming to us as coming together, right? So this is equivalent to the Two of Cups. You know, this can be for some of you, this could be a soulmate connection. If you're already in a relationship, you chose A, right? This is this is representing, you know, that that specific relationship. More than likely, it could represent somebody else coming into your life. It doesn't have to be romantic. It can be a family member. Um, you know, with Thanksgiving tomorrow, right? a lot of us are, are getting together, so reuniting with uh, with family members and friends. Okay, let's pull some clarification. So there's a few other voices in the background here. So. I'm not sure if you guys can hear those, but just bear with me. Okay, tell us about coming together, please. Okay. 
Okay, so with this energy right here, here we have two people, uh, you know, soulmate, soulmate type energy, very, very like-minded energies. Uh, two people that are that are looking at, at, at creating a, a beginning together and you may already be together in a way this can be a bit of a, a bit of a reset these are two people that um, recognize the importance right of giving and receiving uh, in a very fair in a very balanced way you're doing for the other person because you want to because you love them not because there's any set expectation right to come back to you but inevitably without asking right the energies come back to you you know any time that you're able to give this is taking you to or taking both of you towards the ace of swords which is a brand new beginning right and this is a beginning of new communication right maybe speaking to each other a little bit differently right removing those sharp words uh, being patient, being understanding, being able to see and experience this connection in an entirely different perspective, right, of raising the vibration of both of you uh, and really stepping up to be there for one another, right, stepping up to serve, um, and to listen. All right, let's ask, let's get some more clarification. Tell us more about coming together, please. Okay, we just got one energy. Need to reorganize, to give myself some room here. Tell us more about coming together, please. Okay, so we have, we're talking about a relationship here. Um, you know, like most relationships, right? They kind of go through waves. You have, your, you have your highs and your lows. This specific relationship, you know, it, it has a little bit of, of, a, of a bumpy past, right? This is right now we're talking about, um, you know, some type of some type of, of disconnect. Uh, you know, it can honestly, it can really be it can really amount to the energy of just getting caught up in life, you know, where we just get caught up in life and we're focused on our responsibilities, you know, paying the bills, uh, creating stability, you know, creating security. But there's been some type of disconnect, you know, and I don't feel like this is representing uh, a departure or breakup or anything like that. I, I, what I kind of feel like it's representing is just the energy of, of growing somewhat apart, right? And this is very normal, very common as humans. The energy attached to this comes to us as the Eight of Cups. So what is she walking away from, right? She's walking away from limiting energies. She's walking, I mean, this could represent the energy of maybe she feels like she's been giving, right? But what she receives back are two swords in the back. So there's an imbalance here. Uh, you know, you're, this is an energy showing up. So this is something, an energy that you're aware of. So you're being encouraged, right, to walk away from this energy. She's walking out of the water. Water represents a lot of emotions and feelings, right? And it's difficult, I think, because she's reaching up to grab the branch to kind of sustain her coming out of the water. All right, let's pull one more clarifier. Tell us more about coming together, please. Okay, interesting, I wasn't expecting this energy. Now I'm gonna to have to pull another clarifier. So coming in next, we have the tower card. I wasn't expecting this. Uh, so the tower card represents the energy of, of disruption. You know, for some of you, it may feel like a tower energy, right? As you're, as you're resetting, you know, this relationship and you're working towards creating this brand new beginning, right? Maybe the other person's not going to be very receptive, you know, to this conversation. Uh, let me pull another clarifier on the tower. Tell us more about the tower energy, please. Okay, so what exactly is, is causing this tower energy? So here's the thing. I feel like at the end of the day, you know, this is, this is about choice. We're talking about a, a relationship here, and it can be romantic love. It can be friendship. Uh, but here's a beautiful connection. Uh, two people that have maybe grown apart 
in ways. Uh, you know, working through, you know, kind of a, a bumpy, difficult past. Um, so for some of it, right, you have the ability to recognize these energies and to change this on your own, right? And for others of you, what, what is it exactly that brings in this tower energy? What is the tower? So the tower energy is universal energy. For example, sometimes when I'm working my way through life, right, I feel these little promptings, right, to make a change for myself, right? That, and it just kind of comes over and over again. And sometimes I follow through with it and I make the change. And other times I'll put off that change. Many times I'll put off that change because of fear, right? What am I fearful of? She's wearing a blindfold, right? So I'm fearful of the unknown. So if this is an energy that's resonating with you, you know, and if you're not able to overcome it on your own, there's a fair chance, right, that the universe is going to step in and move the parts and pieces around in order to bring about a reset opportunity for this specific relationship. Okay. All right, let's look at B now. So for those of you that chose B, we have challenging times uh, represented as the five of wands. Right? Here he has a breastplate in front of him. So I feel like, you know, he's, he's prepared for battle, right? He's anticipating maybe some, some arrows coming his way. So he has the shield to protect him. But he also has the shield going around his, his head as well, maybe giving him intuitive protection, feeling very inspired. All right, let's get some clarification. Tell us more about challenging times. I'm going to use my universal tarot clarifier for this for this energy. Okay, tell us about challenging times. Help us better understand challenging times. This is an energy that came up, I think, in yesterday's uh, daily reading. So I feel like some of you are definitely going through some challenging energies. So here we have three energies that are coming to us. So let's get some clarification. So here we have the Nine of Swords. You know, the Nine of Swords represents the energy of fear. Uh, this is an elevated version of it, you know, feeling very challenged. And, you know, maybe, maybe you're, you're racking your, your mind on, on how do I work my way through these challenging energies. The energy that's attached to this comes to us as the death card, representing the energy of Scorpio. So you may be a Scorpio or connected to a Scorpio. Uh, but this represents, you know, an ending, a completion. So you're bringing an ending to the fear. And let's learn about exactly how we go about doing that. So the next energy that we have coming to us is the Six of Cups. So the Six of Cups represents the energy of, of an earlier energy, right? an earlier time in our life. Uh, notice the figure here on the card. He's giving out right, cups of flowers. So this is, uh, you know, he's very charitable. You know, a lot of times what it requires for us to work our way through some difficult energy is to step up to the cause, you know, to to step up and to be able to give of ourselves, right, to others in some way, shape, or form, in a way that, that others in our life are, are needing these energies, you know, overcoming challenging energies by giving of ourselves through service, raising your vibration, believing in yourself. Okay, tell us more about challenging times, please. Okay, so for some of you, you know, this energy also represents the energy of somebody from your past, right? So you, you may have somebody from your past that you're stuck in these challenging times energies with, you know, and maybe you're looking towards, you know, coming together in union. The reason I say that is because here we have the Four of Wands, right? This is a beautiful energy. It's just, you know, for some, this will represent the energy of marriage, but this is commitment, right? This is contract. Um, you know, whether it's a relationship or it could be a job opportunity, it'll be different for each and every one of you. But this is the potential. For some of you, you may have somebody from your past coming back, right? Coming back and you may be connecting in some way, maybe making an agreement, a contract of some sort. This could be a relationship. 
as well, a romantic kind of relationship. Let's pull another clarifier. Tell us more about challenging times, please. Okay, so now we're looking at the potential. What is the potential for you, right? If you can work your way through this challenging energy and you can overcome this Nine of Swords, you can overcome the fear, right? By allowing this fear to come to an ending, taking you towards a contract, you know, a commitment of some sort. This could be a commitment with yourself as well. The last energy that shows up for this, this specific uh, B reading is the Sun card, representing the energy of Leo. Right, so notice the difference right, between these two energies right here. They're absolute contrast from one another. Here we have the Nine of Swords. He has his hands over his, you know, up to covering his eyes, waking up from sleep, feeling restless, right? Feeling anxiety right here, right? This is the potential when you're able to end this energy, when you're able to let go of the fear. Here's the potential, the sun shining on you. Notice the child, right? Feeling naked, feeling vulnerable, feeling comfortable in your skin, feeling happiness, feeling joy, right? So totally, you know, this is present energy. This is potential energy moving forward. You know, a lot of times it just comes down to forgiveness. You know, whether we're forgiving a specific individual from the past, doesn't have to be that way though. A lot of times I feel like we're just forgiving the circumstances, the experience. We can, we can hold a lot of limiting energies that, that are connected to past painful experiences. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me, for those of you that chose C, here's your energy. It comes to us as the solar plexus chakra, uh, so located right here. Uh, this energy, chakra energy, is behind your self-confidence, recognizing your value, your self-esteem. Uh, so anytime the chakra energy show up, I feel like it's probably showing up because there could be a blockage here with this chakra. Uh, visualization exercises help us to open up this chakra. You know, think of, think of the sun, right? Imagine and visualize the sun is this yellow ball of energetic light, right? And picture the sun sending you energy to your solar plexus chakra area and, and allow yourself to just feel those energies coming to you. Let's get some clarification. I'm gonna use the crystal vision again on this one. In fact, I'm gonna add these cards back into this deck so that we have the full set. Okay, tell us about the solar plexus chakra, please. Tell us about the solar plexus chakra. Okay, so we have two energies that are attached to the clarifying the solar plexus chakra. So we have the Four of Cups, you know, which represents the energy of, of feeling somewhat disconnected, right? Feeling somewhat bored in life, maybe somewhat stagnant. It's representing the energy of, of feeling, right, that there is more out there for you to connect to. There's more abundance, more happiness, more joy. But here you are staring at this water lily that's in front of you. It's causing you, it's preventing you from being able to see some of the opportunities, right, that may be laying around you right now, that may be within your energetic circle. The energy that's connected to this is the King of Pentacles, representing Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, right? So you may be an Earth energy, or you may be connected to an Earth energy. But the King of Pentacles, right, this is a very seasoned and experienced energy, right? Not young in life, has all kinds of life experience, what matters to the King of Pentacles is feeling safe, right? Feeling secure, feeling stable, you know, and this could also represent the energy of financial stability as well. Let's pull some more clarifiers. Tell us more about the solar plexus chakra. Tell 
it's more about the solar plexus chakra. Tell us more about the solar plexus chakra. Okay. All right. Interesting. So we have a few energies that came out for us. <clears throat> Look, so if you're feeling like your solar plexus chakra is closed, right? You're feeling somewhat disconnected from opportunities, you know, feeling like there's more excitement, right? There's more passion. There's a better life out there for you, right? But feeling somewhat disconnected from it. A great way to overcome, you know, this energy besides the visualization exercise is telling us right here, right, with the strength card representing the energy of Leo. Notice the two birds flying above her head. She sits on the mountain, you know, on this hill next to her, uh, her companion, the lion. And she has the, she's taking a chance, you know, she's, she's having the courage to reach down and to cup the chin of the lion. It may bite her, you know, but she's taking that chance. So it's representing the energy of, of you know, any time we're stuck in this energy, right? We're feeling somewhat disconnected from our confidence, uh, our value. A lot of times it just, it just slows things down, right? Things can be, come to a standstill. And a lot of times we end up putting off things in our life that just make us feel uncomfortable, right? Because we're not feeling our confidence. So here we have the strength card showing up for us, encouraging you, right, to take a chance Make that list of things that you've been putting off and take some action towards accomplishing some of those things, right? And I know you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel afraid uh, to do it, right? You're gonna feel like, I don't have the confidence, but push yourself, right? Elevate yourself over that hump. The next energy, or two energies that we have coming to us, come to us as the Three of Pentacles, so a beautiful energy about a connection right here, right? Two people working together to create and to manifest. The energy that comes in attached to this is the lover's card, right? So this is representing a relationship. <clears throat> so for some of you, I feel like, you know, you have somebody in your life that you're interested in. Uh, and it could be a romantic connection. It could be a friendship, right? But here you are stuck in some very limiting energy where maybe you just don't feel like I have the confidence for this relationship. Uh, take a chance, right? Take a chance. Reach out to them. Share your feelings, right? Share your desires with them. And I know it's fearful, but look at the outcome. You know, for some of you, you're going to end up working together. For others of you, you're going to come together in union, you know, soulmate type energy. So this is beautiful energy. Okay, guys, I think I'm done with today's November Tara Love Reading. Uh, pick a card reading. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you guys tuning in to these readings every day. Uh, it's great for me to be able to turn on the camera and to connect with you. You give me a chance to be able to, to share my gifts, right? To be able to, to put it out there and to give it back to you guys. So thank you so much. I appreciate all the beautiful comments, the likes, the subscribes, and the shares. Uh, it's the holidays, right? So some of you may be interested in getting a personal tarot reading for somebody else or for yourself. Um, those readings are available. Just reach out to me and send me an email and I can set up a time to schedule that for you. Anyways, wishing you all the very best. Uh, have a beautiful Thanksgiving if you li live here in the States. Uh, everybody else have an amazing day as well. Thank you again.